like the Edwards farm? Or? No, I haven't really thought about it. I mean, should I? Well, I was going to say, hey, what... hey, folks, we're here at oh. the, uh, the Edwards the, house. The Edwards house, and we're, we're going to see if this flow hype thing works. Yes. It's been quite a journey, right? Yes, first so. year beekeeping, and we've already had mo mites, lots of mites. We took care of mites. We're going to yep. take care of mites. Yes, taking care of mites, and, and then, then an aggressive queen who was swarming her minions were swar swarming we, 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 we unfortunately had to pinch her but now yeah. things are totally calm right yes yeah so i good. haven't had to do much of any i mean really like i can do see no gloves so if, we the first time. Time. if we just kind of grab underneath and then we'll mm -hmm. grind that in and then i think that will help oh i think that's going to do it for sure tilt that because I wanted to see how long the tube would go because I put just the plastic oh, baggie see. over the jars so and then cut a hole and here. And that way the bees won't get in there? Right. Is that what you're thinking? Yes. So Yeah, oops. I did know, like I notice uh, if you ever pour honey outside yeah. or even sugar water, the bees will like they jump into it. the stream. Oh, you got something going. Oop. Okay, here. So this <laughs> said you have to put the thing on the bottom and then... This just sets in here. Oh, I guess I put a, too big of a hole this time. But last time I just twist, you can see I twisted yeah. it and it locked it down. So, well, if we have to rescue any bees, we will definitely do that. Yeah, well, and I can get some tape as well. Make sure that's in there. And then you have to take this thing out. Okay. And then you use your little lever. Everyone and your lever this. goes in the bottom slot. Here, I'm just gonna zoom in. Okay. A little bit, so there we go. Okay, so lever, and then you crack it right. really hard. I'm scared I'm gonna bend it, truthfully. And I'm scared I'm gonna hurt my bees or smush them because. Oh, look at that. Is it flowing? Oh, it is, yep, slowly. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, so, but to see how I'm a little worried my bees are gonna get caught in there. Good job. Because well, on the see this the... here, if you look over here, okay. these honeycombs. Before I cracked it, they used to be oh, lined up. Yeah, oh, and when I, see I what you're saying. when I cracked it, oh, it, it made the them dis you know disassociate. Oh, I guess so you maybe could say. it's not the middle, maybe it's the side. Yeah. yeah I see what you're saying. So okay. that's why I was I don't want to kill. I'm right. a little worried I'll smush something. I don't wish Got to it. smush anything. Well hopefully whoever's in there can back out. Yeah, those yeah. those have been backing out. Those have been I just We'll have to cool. see what happens with the rest here. And so I did. Fly so high, I'm hypnotized. What's up is down, what's left is right. Oh, I sure did. Here, so here we're here it goes. here. So if you want to see some delicious honey dripping down a flow hive. <laughs> <laughs> Good news uh, is nothing will go to waste. The bees yeah. are going to grab that right away, I'm oh, sure. Oh, man. And here so, goes So I'm going to, like, just be in here to hold this as you... Uh, okay. Oh, that's right. a good idea. Be so. okay. sure to keep the ground in sight. Fly forever if you keep it tight. Love the world, but keep the sky on your mind. Yeah, that one's up. So you can see like the oh. difference. Oh, there it is. Yep. So okay. when it's up at the top. Here, let's show that real fast. Enough, okay. Because people want to know that, I think. So see how the first five here are up. Oh. That little, it's a little bar. It's up, but the sixth one is down. That's what's got to move up, and that indicates that it's actually cracked and the honey can start to flow, which we can see it is rolling on in. Look at that. Come on around back and take a look. Yeah. The bees are all up in the front. 
so. Yeah, you're okay. So, so how is it? Oh, how are you awesome. pulling it out of there, or it just it's drips draining. down? It's draining by gravity. You, you um, turn a key, and then the key breaks the comb, and lets the honey flow out. And so. Is this the first time you guys? This have... is the first time. Yeah. That's Look at so that. exciting. Okay. And now is that actual honey? That's... Like, do you have to do anything to nope. that, or that's it? I can eat it. Yeah. Straight from there. Yeah. Yeah, right, that's I have to get a few bees out, but. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what, how do you do that? You just take just like take a, a spork. Fork. Yeah. A fork. <laughs> take a fork and Manual labor. <laughs> yeah, that is so crazy. Isn't that neat? That's a lot of honey too, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cool. Well, I think it is. It's like, like a, gallon. Mean, a gallon. That looks like a lot of honey. Yeah. 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 So how often? So this would be, this one's still dripping, that one's dripping. This one is almost done, so I'm good to cap it off. This one's still got a steady stream. Cool. Oh, I want to take this off so badly. All right, how do you feel? Uh, I feel great. <laughs> this has exceeded expectations. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I mean, there's a, at least a gallon of honey. That's so, amazing. You know. That is so amazing. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. All right.